Hello, Namaste, Salam, Walekum, Sastriya Kal. Welcome back to another session with your washer at Vareva.com. Today we are going to learn how to make sambar using chow chow. Chow chow. They also call this Bangalore bangan and this vegetable all you need to do is peel it off and inside there is a seed which is pretty much edible you can use it also but you can remove it cut into pieces and make vegetable curry, sambar or even with dals you can make it. This vegetable does not have much of uh, the flavor or uh, taste when it is raw. It is very neutral in taste and uh, so for this add some red chilli, mustard seeds, when the mustard seeds splutter add cumin seeds, curry leaf and shallots. In this add pinch of hing, turmeric and salt and we are going to slowly cook this, wow, you know adding shallots to any of the sambars will make the sambar very tasty. Now we are going to add the cut chow chow into this and uh, add uh, water and in this we are going to also add tamarind juice, okay that should be good enough and also add tomatoes just to give a nice uh, taste to this and also add sambar powder and you know in all my sambars I love to add coconut in one form or the other. Sometimes I like to add pieces of coconut, sometimes I add the coconut into the masala of sambar and then make a paste of it and add, sometimes I add coconut milk, today I am going to add ground coconut. So just take the fresh coconut, put in a blender, make into a fine puree and add to this, you know not too much and wow this is going to become really nice and tasty, okay. Now after you add all of this, we are going to put the lid on and bring this to a nice boil and we are going to cook this till the chow chow, the Bangalore eggplant, chow chow, whatever you call them till it is nice and tender. Now after letting this uh, chow chow cook and uh, till it is nice and tender, that is when you add dal. This is uh, tuar dal which has been boiled till it is nice and soft and add in this and you have this awesome sambar almost getting ready and you can add some chopped coriander in this and just put the lid on and let this come to a boil one time and then simmer it for another one minute and then the sambar will be awesome and ready. Just check the seasoning, you know sambar make sure that you may have to check the seasoning at least uh, two three times in the end because sambar you cannot have the salt more, you cannot have it less. The spiciness it cannot have it more, you cannot have it less just to suit your taste. When this is perfect that is when you enjoy it, wow. Wow, this is good and uh, I am just going to let this simmer for another 2-3 uh, minutes and switch off the flame. Now look at this sambar, you know so nice, super and fantastic. Yes, sambar is best when you eat it with your hands. Dear friends, you can make more than 100 variations of sambars with different combinations of vegetables and each one of them will be very special and unique flavor. You have to find out what you love the most, at least 5-6 variations and make them regularly. Dear friends, but do not forget, Varava is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at varava.com so others can benefit from your great cooking. And you know especially when you have the sambar with this chow chow and other vegetables, you can pick up those vegetables, those vegetables even though very neutral as I have told you earlier, once they cook in this sambar, they get very very special taste. Mm, wow.